The infamous 7.3 Power Stroke, known for its reliability and insane fuel economy. But how does this truck compare to newer diesels and its rival, the 6.0 Power Stroke? Well, that is what we're going to be putting to the test today. Driving from College Station, Texas to San Antonio, Texas, and then back to College Station for a grand total of 400 miles to see if not only the truck makes the trip, but what our fuel economy is and towing capabilities are. As you guys know, I also own a 6.7 Power Stroke and a 6.0 Power Stroke, so we're going to be comparing the 7.3 to those two trucks. And then at the very end of this video, we'll be testing the 0 to 60 speed just to get a baseline of how fast our 7.3 is. We're in the 7.3 Power Stroke, OBS 7.3 Power Stroke. We are actually gonna be firing up here for you guys. We're gonna really see if this truck does get better fuel economy because that is one of the perks of owning and driving a 7.3 is the fuel economy on these trucks because there is no emissions hurting it. I'm actually gonna head to the gas station right now and fill it up, do our first little tank, and we're gonna be manually tracking our fuel mileage. Stay tuned. Fires up like a champ. Netting gear. Diesel is three dollars and forty-eight cents. So we're gonna fill it up here. I'm gonna fill up both tanks. I figured out how the actual switch works here. So you have a front and a rear. We're gonna be using the front one first, and then we're gonna use the rear one next. But I'm just gonna top them both off so I can track the actual fuel mileage. All right. All right, so we're gonna do the first tank here first. So it didn't really click off right. I literally just filled it up like all the way to the top. So that way when I come back, I can refill it up all the way up to the top. I know this probably isn't good for the truck, but in order to get an accurate fuel mileage test, I had to go do this. That'll give me an accurate representation of like where I need to fill it up whenever I do come back up here. So that way we can get the perfect fuel mileage reading on it. Be towing and daily driving it. It's gonna be some city driving, some highway driving, and some towing with this. So we're gonna see like all around what kind of fuel mileage we get. Let's jump into the first 75 miles. Here are the four things we will be testing in today's video. Ride comfortability. How does this truck compare to other diesels with suspension and so on? Fuel mileage. Is the fuel mileage as good as they say it is? Towing capabilities. Will it tow better or worse than the other diesels? Zero to 60 speed. How fast does this dinosaur go? All right, so we are currently at 364,450 miles, 50.9 miles. I want to take a picture of that. And then whenever we're done driving, we're going to do the subtraction and see how far we really drove on it. So we have been driving for 75 miles on the 7.3 Power Stroke. And I have got to say is one of the most squirrely trucks I've ever driven. That is probably because it needs an alignment extremely bad and it also needs a new gearbox kind of a pain in the butt to drive however ride comfortability wise it's good like suspension it feels well sitting in the seat it's comfortable everything is all around relatively comfortable when it comes to actually ride comfortability if i were to rate it between the three trucks that i have i would put it right between the 6.0 and the 6.7 i think the 6.0 rides a little bit rougher than this and the 6.7 rides just a little bit smoother than this cruising i've been cruising at about 70 miles an hour for 75 miles. I do have to say that this truck is a little bit quieter than the 6.0, but not as quiet as the 6.7. Everything's driving smooth though. Everything's working great as it should be. AC is still blowing cold. Radio still works great. But the only thing that I did notice was that it is so squirrely and the brakes are just like on their last leg. Now we're going to see if anything changes in the next 75 miles. So stay tuned. All right, guys, we're coming into the home stretch. Everything, the 7.3 has made it home. The first 179 miles, I believe that's how far we drove. Everything went smooth. Everything ran smooth. No hiccups whatsoever. The only thing I do have to say is that the brakes on these, like I said earlier, are really crappy and the transmission is kind of shifting a little funky. But other than that, she's running great. It actually is a pretty fun truck to drive. If you want to get the 7 Tree hat, it'll be in the description down below. Also, all of my mods that I am going to be buying for this truck because we aren't going to keep it stocked for much longer is going to be in the description down below as well. It's by Night Shift Diesel. He is going to have all the parts that we're going to be buying for the 7.3. So we got Lee in the house today old brad uh, my brother brad he's gonna be driving it so what are your first impressions lee she ain't much <laughs> that's brad's now he's got the new 2017 six seven power stroke just going throwing it back about 20 years <laughs> you drove this all the way down here all the way down here i'm surprised she made it <laughs> really yeah. it's got 364,000 miles on it we need some tune-ups we have a belt squeak i think it's a tensioner or one of the, one of the pulleys on the belt i just need to replace it out or grease it up uh, here give it a little ghastly i'm gonna you can hear it you can hear it a little bit but uh i drove it like that all the way down here so it, it clearly made it first impressions lee other than the red you don't like the uh, red? i don't know about the red i like the red it's different it's vintage for sure yeah three allergies are kind of kicking my ass this morning yeah we're gonna go ahead and fire up the 7.3 it's been sitting overnight see how it starts and then we're gonna go ahead to the shop pick up the trailer we're gonna go put about four thousand pounds of lumber on it and tow with this thing and see if it's toes any better or toes worse or what what kind of towing capabilities this 7.3 has so let's fire it up fires right up 
We got 20 years worth of difference in trucks here. So his is a 2017, this is a 1997. We're gonna see kind of comparing them to how they tow and everything like that. Towing that right there. 20 years difference, boys. Seven. Seven tree, which one do y'all like? Which one do y'all like more? She goes, boys. She a little tooted, but uh, yeah, we're about to tow with her. So far, so good. finished a long day of work got the fence built and we are sitting at a little bit lower than half a tank driven about 10 miles total with the trailer hooked up everything towed great if i were to compare it to the 67 or the 60 i think that both the 60 and the 67 just both tow so much better than the 73 i just think it, this thing is just a sloth but i mean if it, you want to get to point a to point b this is the thing to take but if you want to haul one of those campers right there i don't think you're going to cut it we're going to catch up with you guys tomorrow whenever we're driving back and we're actually doing the fuel mileage test. Let me know what you guys think. Do you think she looks good in the dark? I can't believe all the cab or the cab lights work too. I mean, she's freaking mint, boys. Being clean. Literally one of my best trucks I think I bought for the price. So it is the next day and we are actually going to be firing up the old seven tree. See, we're actually gonna be driving it back to College Station. Right when we hit about a quarter tank, I'm gonna go ahead and flip the switch over here on this front and left fuel thing. I'm gonna flip that switch, see if it changes on the tank. And then we're gonna go the remaining amount on that tank. I just wanted to go ahead and switch my tank over now just in case it doesn't work and we are in the middle of nowhere and we don't have a gas station anywhere nearby. So tank is sitting a little above a quarter tank right now. I'm going to go ahead and flip our button to the reverse one and that's crazy. It's literally going up. Holy shit. That's awesome. What the heck? That's so dope guys. I've never seen nothing like that. So we're going to drive on this one to the rest of College Station and then we're going to do the fuel mileage. Moment of truth. We made it to the gas station almost 400 miles driven. I want to see exactly how far we drove. 364,836 miles and we burned almost half a tank on the last one and then another half a tank on the first one. All right, so we drove a total of 385.2 miles. Now we're gonna test the fuel mileage here. The uh, gas is in, it's 19.739 gallons, $68 total. So we got 385.2 miles, 385.2 miles. So what we're gonna do is do 385.2 miles divided by, moment of truth, moment of truth, moment of truth, 19. 18.734. Holy shit. The 7.3 is back, boys. From through towing, through everything that this thing has gone through, city miles, highway miles, all of the above, all around tank, we averaged 19.5 miles per gallon. Absolutely insane for a diesel truck. That is the best fuel of mileage I've ever seen on the channel. So, oh my God, I, that's freaking, that's the best fuel of mileage we've ever had. Uh, the 6.0 is, I think, 18.5. The 6.7, I think we topped out at 19.3. My old 7.3 was topped out at about 17, but this one got 19.5 gallons and that's cruising at about 70 miles an hour and i cannot believe we got that kind of fuel mileage on a diesel truck a 97 to an older diesel truck these things are known for the fuel economy but i did not think it would be that good of fuel economy that is kind of our baseline i am going to be doing a 0 to 60 as well to get a baseline just to see how fast we are so let's do that right now all right here we go all right i'm all the way down Sixty right there. Twelve point nine one seconds. <laughs> Holy shit! That's a seven three dinosaur for you boys. God damn! Lots of room to grow with this truck. Um, we can only kind of go up from here. I think we could say that is a fact. So everything goes out on Instagram before it goes out on YouTube. So I have a subscribers only kind of exclusive content on Instagram at powerstroke.central. You guys can go subscribe. It's only like $4.99 a month. And I post everything on there before you guys see it on YouTube. So the 19 miles per gallon was already posted on the subscribers only content. So you guys could have seen that way before 
it came out here on YouTube. If you guys want to get the seven dot tree hat, you guys can. Also, if you guys want to take your truck into Astro Automotive, you guys can as well. Get it serviced, get it fixed up. That'll be it for this one. Thank you guys for watching. Peace out.